August was a brutal month for crypto, but now it's time to look for September. We're gonna be doing the big dates this month, especially the ones that affect XRP and XLM. I didn't do a video last month because I wasn't feeling it. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Art thou feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? But yes, I am feeling it now, so let's get to the big dates of September. Start it off with your comments because yes, you are most important. User 1MH, wow, that's a weird one right there, but still liking it, says 9.53 minutes of 100% truth. Keep the news coming. That's right, I bring the news whether it's good or bad. Sharing an 81 says, ha, I had an 89 escort when I was 16. George Smakis says, dude, don't diss Ford Escorts. <laughs> Part of the joke yesterday. Everyone's like, when Lambo? Let's change that to when Ford Escort. Hello, governor. Did you by chance catch the whiteboard behind me? If not, check it out. By the way, 954 subs last month. Great job, everyone. That was a huge month for me, subwise. Keep it going. Hit that subscribe button if you like this. Now, real quick, wanted to show you the heat map. Whoa, I know it's bad and red. I put this up for the one month time period so you could see how much correction there was in the month of August. Let's look at some of our favorites here and then we'll get into the big dates. XRP down 28% in August. ADA down 16%. XLM down 23%. Litecoin down 31. Some big, big losers in the space in the month of August. While Bitcoin and ETH both down only 20, oh, 20, geez, cost, 12%. But let's get into the big dates. September 1st, we've got Bitcoin ETF. Oh, that was supposed to happen today, but the SEC has now delayed that until mid-October. September 4th, we got Labor Day here. The markets are closed in the United States. But guess what, everyone? Crypto markets are open, so you can get your trade on. September 6th is a big date for the Fed because the beige book comes out. Oh, yeah, this is going to be one hell of a month. You've got some big, big reports coming out. And remember... Globally, we're all in the same boat right now with high costs, high inflation, raising rates, lots of debt. So no, it's not just US-based, this is global. And by the way, if you wanna create your own Big Dates calendar, I'm gonna have this site and this site linked in the description below where you can create pivot tables and you can filter out results how you want. I've got Eurozone as well as US Big Dates in here. You can filter to almost any country. The 13th, we've got CPI data. With the 14th, we got PPI data. Two biggest reports that Jerome Powell looks at along with the beige book for this month. We've got September 19th, Eurozone CPI. Yep, exactly. The Eurozone is also dealing with nasty inflation and rates have been going through the roof in the Eurozone as well. September 20th is the FOMC meeting, but this is a big one. Why? economic projections the fed does this every so often and here's the thing this is where they start saying hey look this is what our expectations are and that's when the market really moves make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell because we're going to be doing a live stream regarding that september 21st is home sales and i know everyone's been telling me pricing is going to go down but there's no supply and it's based on supply and demand, just like the crypto market. So as your favorites out there keep adding more to the circulating supply, is there a demand? No, we've seen the demand has been shrinking. Again, go back to the heat map. If they keep adding to the supply, but the demand is going down, that's going to drive price down. And one of the factors of driving the price down. September 26th to 28th is Stellar's Meridian. Yes, be very interesting to see if any big news comes out of there, especially if it's big news that moves the price, because that's why we're here, right? Unless you're here to pick up hot crypto chicks and dudes, but ladies, you'd have yourself, you know, quite a fest, because it's mostly a sausage fest in this space. Dudes, there's a lot of competition for that chick crypto tail. Not to be outdone by Meridian, Ripple Labs did what they said they were going to do. And on September 29th, the day after Meridian, Ripple Labs will be hosting their party in New York City celebrating. Well, we're going to learn then what they're celebrating. So are you feeling it now, Mr. Krebs? September has been a historically rough month for crypto and stock markets. And honestly, I think we're going to expect, yeah, a rough month. 
Why? Because the economic conditions is just not good globally. And seriously, seriously, if you live outside of the United States, do me a favor. Check out those links that I got and build your own economic calendar so you can see the reports that matter to your country. Because it's not just crypto that we care about in this channel. It's how life is, how finance is going and all that big picture stuff. But thank you everyone for the huge support in August. That was like the biggest subscriber month that I had seen in a long time. And why? Because it's we're bringing news both good and bad. So today I'm gonna start preparing more for my trip, start packing my bags and getting my gear ready. What are you cool cats gonna do? Hopefully not pre-burn, but hopefully have a great rest of your day.